Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential hurricanes Sally and Teddy, and also some other disturbances that are in the Atlantic. You can see it's a very busy season, a very busy picture. We have many disturbances, two in the Gulf and two close to Africa that may affect the United States, and on top of that, we also have Paulette and Renee. Renee will likely dissipate within the next week or two while Paulette moves towards Bermuda and the United States as a high-end hurricane. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. You can see we have multiple disturbances. This one that's going to go south of Florida has a 30% chance of formation through five days. And this other disturbance in the Gulf that will move along the coast of Mexico has a 20% chance of formation through five days. This red disturbance here, which will likely become our next name system, potentially Sally, has a 90% chance of formation through five days. And this system will be the one to watch for US impacts. And we have another disturbance there that has a 40% chance through five days, and it will likely stay out to sea. Let's get into the models. First off, starting with Paulette, the National Hurricane Center has it strengthening into a high-end Category 1 hurricane before moving directly over Bermuda. And this system is unlikely to impact the United States, but there is a small possibility that the United States does get affected by this system. Further strengthening past Bermuda is expected and a potential Category 2 is in sight. This is the intensity guidance for Paulette. Some models have it going into Category 2, but most have it going into Category 1. So it will likely end up being at peak intensity, a high-end Category 1, or a Category 2 hurricane. A major hurricane is unlikely from this. Looking at the models, you can see Paulette there where the L and the 988 is. You can see Paulette moves away, and there's Renee at the 1000. And then you see potential Sally or Teddy, depending on what happens. That really gets forming and affects the islands as 970 millibars, which is pretty strong. Then it drops even more to 966. The lower the number, typically the more stronger the system is. And then it drops even more to 953, going south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, before going in between Jamaica and Haiti, and weakening, but re-strengthens as it approaches Florida and the United States. You can see this is one model, this is one possibility, there are many possibilities, but I am highlighting that this potential Sally or Teddy will be the more likely system to bring U.S. impacts. And it has been having consistency hitting the United States somewhere. It could hit anywhere in the Gulf or potentially even parts of the East Coast. The exact location of landfall from the system is very unclear, but it is likely that it will form and become a hurricane. You can also see this model tries to form another system that we saw highlighted next to Florida that had a 30% chance of formation. You can see where the L and the 1010 is. It tries to get a system in, and it might be able to, it might not. If anything does form, I do not see it being above a tropical depression, but we'll have to watch it closely for potential minor U.S. impacts. These are current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius. You can see there are many patches in the Gulf, south of Cuba, west of Florida, east of Florida, that are patches of 30 to 32 degrees Celsius waters, where if these tropical systems can kick in some of that energy, strengthening is likely. So we will have to watch these systems closely if they enter any of these patches. But otherwise, the waters are generally very warm still, so strengthening is likely no matter what. That's the Shusha Weather Forecast for upcoming potential hurricanes Sally and Teddy. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.